Hey guys, Proper English here. I've got something pretty cool for you today. This is a rebuild of one of my earliest builds. It's a variable height bridge raiser. And so let's start it up. All right, so I'll come over here and start this clock. And what's going to happen now is it's loading sand from these loops over here into the center stack. And, uh, and it raises up a bridge. You can actually stack out this uh, whole sand mechanism so that you have 15 of them and uh, and you raise up a bridge so pretty cool so this is set right now to go to the tallest bridge that it can run um, but because this is variable height it can uh, can make bridges of multiple different heights so let's lower this down I'll uh, start this other clock up here and now what it's doing is it's pulling sand out of the main stack and loading it back into the loops so it's set to go for the uh, the next input and so this thing can actually be made fully waterproof. I need to make one small modification, but before I release the final version, which will actually have some other features too, um, I'll make that change. And, uh, and yeah, so let's hop down and let's change it so it goes to a different height. And what I'm gonna do is select that instead of that. And what I've got over here while we're down here, you know, we might as well take a look, is a binary counter and then a decoder. And so what that's doing is it's keeping track of how tall the stack is. So it knows how much it needs to add or remove from it. And so now let's, uh, let's try this other one. This should be a stack of three. And, uh, and yeah, so there's our first block. There's a second one. And there's the third. So we've raised it up three. Now let's pull that out. And then we can take a look at the one other setting I've got in here. I've got it set for three settings, but if you want to do more than that, it wouldn't be a problem. And so let's hop down here again and select the middle one now. That's going to raise it up six. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, let's just start that up. And so what's kind of cool about this thing is it's an example of how you can use binary to do something that might be considered more practical in a Minecraft world. Like this would be something that you might want to add to um, to one of your creative builds, right? Like uh, like building a moat for a castle or something. You could have two towers on either side and uh, the towers could have multiple walkways and you could set it up so that you know, you need a key code to use different ones. You could do a lot of cool stuff with this. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not releasing the download just yet. I'm going to make a few modifications, waterproof the whole thing, and, uh, and make it as user-friendly as I possibly can so it's all set to go. I wanted to put this out today to show you guys um, just because, you know, I was sick two weeks ago and then I was away at a conference, which, by the way, was awesome. Um, and yeah, so I haven't done much in the past two weeks. I wanted to show you something cool. So expect a, uh, a demonstration on how to use this thing, you know, how to wire it all up to, uh, uh, to do what you want, how to change the, the height of the, the bridge and, you know, do all the things that you might need to know if you want to use this. Um, and you can expect that later this week with a download so you can, uh, pick it apart, make any kind of modifications that you'd like, and, you know, just have some fun with it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.